हेलो इंजीनियर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑरिफिस एंड इट इज दार्ट वन ऑफ द रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑरिफिस सो वट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑरिफिस वट इज रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑरिफिस एंड रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑरिफिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज दी आर ओ राइट देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑरिफिस types of the restriction orifice application of the restriction orifice so it will be the part 1 of the this video and in next video we will discuss about the selection criteria of restriction orifice standards and guidelines ipds of restriction orifice common issues with restriction orifice and choked flow in restriction orifice okay so let's start our part 1 so what is restriction orifice have you seen restriction orifice in your plant or in your college or somewhere if yes let me in the comments box okay so restriction orifice actually it is a device or it is a mechanical device what it do it is a flow control device flow means q right and which is designed to regulate the flow of fluid by creating a deliberate constriction in the flow path means when a contractor obviously what is happening here it is it is going to reduce the area if you will see this plate this is your ro restriction orifice and see what will happen that this plate or this restriction orifice will be inserted within the two pipe uh, with the help of the flange that we will discuss so now what will happen earlier the let's suppose the diameter of the pipe was this now that fluid will pass through this hole so what you are doing you are creating the vena contractor or you are reducing the area so because of that what will happen that is the use of the restriction orifice right so this constriction results in a pressure drop from the upstream side to the downstream side of the orifice okay i hope you know about the upstream and downstream see this is your line okay this is your another line now let's assume that here is your restriction orifice okay here is your restriction orifice just assume that now this is the upstream and this is the downstream when when fluid is flowing from here to here from left to right right now what is happening that this constriction results in pressure drop means of here the delta p will be created okay why uh, because of this uh, area reduction right and uh, from the upstream side to the downstream side of the orifice allowing for for controlled flow rate and pressure management within the piping system because of that what is happening that you are controlling the fluid flow okay flow rate and pressure see let me in the comments box as you know about the continuity equation that is area into velocity and there is one equation as well that is bernoulli equation what it say it say that the kinetic energy plus pressure energy plus potential energy is equal to constant what is the meaning of constant it means that if the kinetic energy increases then either the potential energy or pressure energy will be reduced then only it could be constant right means if one will be increase another will have to reduce if you want to make it constant or if you want to make it true right so now what is happening here you are reducing the area so as you will reduce the area what will happen this velocity is going to be increase as the velocity will be increase the pressure will be reduced because of the this philosophy here is the kinetic energy here is the pressure energy i hope you are getting my point now where you will say sir the uh, pressure is force divided by by area and if you are reducing the area then pressure is going to be increased so this scenario is different this scenario is different please use here the bernoulli equation and this is very very important right i hope you got my point so now because of that only what is happening that you are managing the pressure and flow rate i hope you are getting my point what i want to say 
Now, it typically consists of a plate with a hole of a specific diameter strategically placed in a pipeline. So, this is your plate and here is the hole. This hole will have a specific diameter that is based on the process parameters, process condition, what is your fluid flow and other parameters that we will discuss in our next video when we will discuss about the IPDS of the RO. Now, what is the purpose? What is the use of this restriction orifice? The first one is it control the flow, okay, means restricts fluid flow to achieve desired weights. Then also it is used for the pressure regulation, okay, means it helps to maintain the pressure level within the system, okay. Why? Because here what you are doing, you are, you are creating the delta P, it, it means that in the upstream system there will be some pressure, in the downstream system there will be some pressure. So obviously it is going to maintain the pressure and uh, it, it is going to control the flow. I hope you got the point what I want to say. Now what is the working principle? So basically this restriction orifice is also works on the Bernoulli principle. Also means, also means if you will see orifice meter, orifice meter, venturi meter, okay, this works on the, based on the Bernoulli's principle. So same the restriction orifice is also works on the Bernoulli's principle. So restriction orifice and the orifice plate, there are not a big deal. Okay, both are somehow similar, right? Now what happens that, see, you are flowing the fluid from here. This is the upstream, let's suppose, and this is the downstream. Downstream, upstream. So when a fluid flows through a constricted area, such as the restriction orifice, its velocity increases okay so what is happening that see here simply see q is equal to area into velocity now this area reduced so velocity will be increased if you are going to constant this right while its pressure decreases why because we know that as the velocity increases pressure decreases that we know this pressure drop across the orifice can be correlated to the volumetric flow rate passing through it what is the meaning of it? Can you let me in the comments box? Please let me in the comments box about this statement. Okay, so that's how it is the working principle of the restriction orifice. Okay, the philosophy is very, very simple. It works on the Bernoulli's principle. If you know about the Bernoulli's principle, then you have understood about the working principle of the restriction orifice, right? Next is types of restriction orifice. So there are so many types of the restriction orifice, for example, single stage restriction orifice. What is the meaning of this? There will be only one stage means one plate. Okay. A single stage restriction orifice is a fundamental type of flow control device used in piping system to regulate fluid flow and manage pressure drops. A single stage restriction orifice is usually a plate or a block with a bore sized to intended permanent losses of press right so this we are talking about this plate and this hole okay which is sized why to intended permanent loss of pressure okay you want to kill the pressure basically right then it is installed between the pipe flange that we have discussed actually it is not a thin orifice plate in a orifice plate that is thin it is a thick orifice plate because you have to deal with the pressure then there is the single stage multi hole restriction orifice okay there will be also only one restriction orifice means one stage one plate you can say but the hole will be multiple it is based on the process condition the process condition play a very very important role here right so why it is used it is employed or it is used to reduce the noise generated by a high velocity fluid through a its bore then this design channel the incoming fluid into the multiple streams via several holes effectively lowering noise level. Obviously, if there will be one hole, the noise will be high. If there will be multiple holes, so it will effectively reduce the noise level, right? Now, in contrast, the single hole device would likely produce noise that exceeds acceptable limit that we were talking earlier. What is the functionality of the single stage multi-hole restriction orifice? Flow management. It restricts incoming fluid flow by dividing it into the multiple 
smaller stream several through several holes this reduces the velocity of each stream then the noise reduction is also there by dispersing the flow the device mitigates turbulence leading to a significant decrease in noise levels compared to a single hole orifice then there is the multi stage restriction orifice plate assembly multi stage means there will now not be the only one restriction orifice but the multiple means many okay that could be the combination okay here uh, here you can see right so these devices are used where the pressure reduction ratio is very high and cannot be achieved by a single stage orifice plate okay obviously if there will be only one plate what will happen that you cannot reduce significant pressure right but if the pressure is high pressure ratio means you have to reduce for example from x to y and this is high so you are going to use the multi stage restriction orifice means there will be the 1 2 3 and like that multiple uh, arrow right a multi stage device essentially consists of several single stage device built in a single spool i hope you understood this this is your single spool and there is the multiple single stage restriction orifice like a single stage device it can be of single hole multi stage design of multi hole single stage design or a combination of both means it could be, it could be the single hole multi stage or it could be the multi hole multi stage design okay it depends on your uh, like your demand or based on the process condition now what are the key features obviously the flow control reduction ratio also it help in the cavitation prevention why because you are using the multiple single stage restriction orifice right right so the gradual transition in pressure drops a pressure helps reduce the risk of cavitation which can damage equipment i hope you got the point then there is the conical shaped restriction orifice so this type is designed to mitigate issues like a cavitation okay and your vibration and noise because what will happen here it will be like that 3 inch to 2 inch etc okay means one side the size will be bigger another side the side will be lower okay so this is the another type of the restriction orifice then the applications of the restriction orifice like it is used in the downstreams of the blow down wall okay so it is used to ensure the controlled flow rate in a blow down piping or blow down header right and when a when a blow down wall opens to relieve high pressure from the upstream side in case of an emergency or depressurization scenario the restriction orifice plate downstream regulate the flow preventing it from exceeding safe levels that could overload the flare header so what is the purpose simply it is regulating the flow and also it is preventing it from like it could not exceed from the safe levels okay otherwise what could happen the flare header could be overload okay then and, and the safety point of you based on the safety point of you also this mechanical device is very very good okay now due to sudden pressure drop from the high pressure to low pressure the temperature also falls down this phenomena is called the joule thomson effect and thus the design of ro needs to take care of the low temperature so if you will suddenly reduce the pressure obviously the temperature is going to reduce okay and because of that there could be some like there could be the if, if suddenly you will reduce the pressure there could be the boiling could be occur right so what we do and the temperature will also reduce so what you do when you design the ro you take care of the this this effect also right so that is also very important while designing the ro that we will discuss in our upcoming video we also use the ro in the pump recirculation line okay you will see in the pump recirculation line or minimum recirculation line we use the uh, ro in mainly in a centrifugal pump so it is used where a constant recirculation flow is required because you cannot change the holes okay if you will fix it will be fixed forever or until you do not change right and control and control of recirculation and forward flow rate is not important then it is the recirculation ensure that cavitation starvation cannot happen in the pump because if you do not want to deliver it to the discharge side you can simply like you can what you can do you can open the wall of the your discharge line and then or 
and the wall of the circulation line then you can transfer the flow from your pump to tank. What will happen then? Then the pump will not starve and the, and the cavitation will also be prevented. Now for pump with horsepower 10 to 20 HP restriction or fees is installed on the MCF line of the top. Okay. Now how justified with uh, how justified are you with this statement? Let me in the comments box. Okay. Then the restrict gas flow by blow by what is the meaning of it? This this means that in the scenarios of hydrocarbon cons condensate flow from high pressure to low pressure separators, ROs help manage excessive gas during gas flow during wall failures preventing system overloads. Okay, application of RO to check excessive flow. Okay, RO are used to restrict the excessive flow in case of a rapture. In a well head application, if the down holes walls to be closed due to fire the hydraulic or power oil to the wall actuator is depressurized by the use of feasible plug with fuses and allows the hydraulic oil to leak through a ro at a restricted flow rate so that's why it is very very important ro for controlled pressurization like during a startup of a process plant it is essential to pressurize various sections with the incoming process fluid in a controlled manner, right? So it is necessary because the upstream uh, section is a, like typically operates at a significant higher pressure than the downstream. So without flow restriction, the initial flow rate could be excessively high, potentially damaging the pipelines and equipment. So restriction orifice are employed to facilitate gradual pressurization, right? So ideally the design should aim for chalked flow conditions for gases as this limit the flow rate to the flow rate to to be the proportional to the square root of the inlet pressure rather than the differential pressure right so this is the application of the ro restriction orifice right so i hope you understood about the restriction orifice somehow if you have any comment or if you have any doubt about the restriction orifice let me in the comments box we will discuss together right and let me in the comments box in like at which topic we could discuss we could discuss more okay so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you